Hi, my cancers. It's Jamie Sieber 23. I've already shuffled and laid off the cards. Take two. Um, technical difficulties. Okay, so I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes, so please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, um, uh, pendulum for divination prophecy, lots more on the website, jamiezebra23.com. Keep in mind that these are general readings. They are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate, so please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Um, if you are new to my channel, if you are new to my channel, there may or may not be noise in the background. I do have children. If that bothers you, where is it? There's your truck. If that bothers you, please click off, um, and don't come back, because this might not be the channel for you, so unsubscribe and don't come back. Here, clock. For those of you that uh, understand this, this message was not for you. This is for people who don't understand, people who like to write terrible things about the children in the background. Yeah. So anyway, love spread for June 2019 for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. It's sad that I have to do these disclaimers, but we've got some sick people that come on these channels. Okay, but anyway. All right, so I do feel like for a lot of you, you might be finding out in the month of June 2019 that uh, maybe somebody spiritually attacked you or spiritually attacked your partner to break you two up. Um, this is not for everybody. This is for some of you. For some of you, this some of your exes just don't want you. But for others of you, some of you do have an ex that does love you very much, but they were voodooed away from you. And that's why you two are not together now. Um, I do feel like once this is realized and once, it, once you guys clean this up, I feel like your ex is going to be right back. Like nothing ever happened. Um, for some of you, you're going to choose to tell your ex what you did to clean it up. And for some of you, you're not going to say anything. I suggest you don't say anything so that your ex doesn't think you're voodoo voodooing them to be with you. You know, they might not believe you that you just cleaned it and cleared it. They not, so just don't say anything to them. Okay, now, with this king of pentacles here, which could very well be a queen, I do feel like for some of you, there is a, there is a new earth sign coming back or somebody with that, there is an earth, a new earth sign coming. They could either have that zodiac sign, or that could be their sun, their moon, or their rising. Um, I do feel like for a lot of you, um, there might have been an earth sign from the past that kind of took a break from you, but they will be returning. I do feel like the break was, with this three of swords here, the break was somebody else. With the three of cups, three, three of swords, and then the three of cups right next to it, I feel like that was the reason why they didn't want to be with you. Keep in mind that this person could be any zodiac sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign, but it's showing earth energy. Maybe this person was very much focused on their job, very much focused on their wealth and their prosperity, and they didn't really care about you too much. They they cared more about that. But I also feel like somebody just wanted to be able to be free to sleep around, free to do whatever they wanted. And then with the seven of cups here, it looks like they had a lot of options. So you weren't the only option. Therefore, they didn't want to put up with any of your BS. Even if your BS was small or if it was big BS, they didn't want to, they were like, you know what, one little thing, you know, you lit my fuse, it's over. Now, I do see a lot of you will be going out and celebrating in the month of June 2019, and because of that, you're, you're going to have a lot of options. Because of that, you will find true love. And then with this Ace of Cups here, it looks like happiness. A lot of happiness surrounding your love life, surrounding romance. I do see that for some of you, you will be meeting up with a, with a, um, with a uh, Sagittarius Leo or Aries, this person maybe you're gonna maybe you're gonna go somewhere and see them and see that maybe they're happy and that they're doing you know they're living their life and that might make you upset that might hurt your feelings that might like cause heartbreak all over again. But sometimes you actually have to see somebody in action to really believe what's going on. So this use this as your closure. <clears throat> you know you've seen them hugging somebody else, you've seen them kissing someone else. So let it go now. I do feel like some of you are connected to an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius in the month of June 2019. I feel like this person does love you, does care for you, does have strong feelings for you, but for some reason they're pushing you back. Um, 
I also see for some of you, there's a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries that has you on their mind big time. They can't think about anyone else. They can't think of anything else. I feel like they've been had you on their mind for several months, but now it's to the point where they need to reach out to you because they, they don't know what to do. Also with the judgment card here, some of you might be facing breakups towards the third week of June 2019. Whatever breakup this is, it'll be temporary. So if they, if you want to break up with someone or someone wants to break up with you, it'll only be temporary. You guys will be back on by the time July hits. So it'll be a temporary breakup maybe. Oh, oh God. Maybe a few days, maybe a few weeks. But it, um, it'll be temporary. Okay. I also feel like for some of you, um, it'll be a situation where maybe, don't, please get away from there. I feel like for some of you, it'll be a situation. Oh, no. Hold it. It's okay. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, no. Okay. It'll be a situation. Please don't do that anymore. It'll be a situation where, where a lot of you, there's going to be a little bit of a breakup, but you guys will be making up in, in July of 2019. I also feel like for some of you with this Ace of Pentacles, some of you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, might be very much focused on your prosperity and your money, and you might not have time for any BS. I also see some of you are going on a vacation, and during that vacation, you're going to meet somebody that's very significant to your life. This person may cause you to relocate. You might decide, I feel like some of you are going to see something negative first, maybe with an ex, and then you go on vacation, and once you're on vacation... It looks like you guys will be very much focused on um, moving forward. You're going to be like, you know what? Now I know that it's over for sure. Now it's time for me to do me. So whoever you meet out of town might be might end up being the one, and you may end up relocating. You might not end up relocating during the vacation. You might go home, keep in touch with this person, and then a few months, a year, two years, maybe you end up relocating to wherever you, wherever you um, took the vacation, or they might end up relocating to you soon after the vacation. Either way, I feel like for a lot of you, um, you do have positive changes coming when it comes to your love and romance, love life. I do feel like if you've started off the month of June 2019 single, you're going to end the month of June 2019 in a long-term relationship, in a committed relationship with somebody who actually wants to be with you. Um, but I do see a small problem in June 2019. I see a lot of you wanting to be with people who don't want to be with you. Um, some of you need to focus on, on finding someone that does want to be with you. Why would you want to be with somebody that doesn't want to be with you? That makes no sense. So how about let's not do that? Oh, no. So how about let's not do that and you kind of focus on maybe finding someone who, who likes you just as much as you like them? Just my opinion, but I think the man should always like the woman more. So if you find yourself caring a bit, a bit too much and the guy's acting like he doesn't care about you, I think that you shouldn't do this. Don't, don't, don't be with them. The, the man should always like the woman more. Um, because you don't want to be chasing a guy. And same with guys out there. You don't want to be chasing a guy and you don't want to be chasing a girl. So make sure that the girl cares about you, maybe not more. You know, you should always like the girl more. Um. But it does look like it's going to be a really powerful month in regards to love and romance for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.